Hello, my lovely peaches. In today's video, I'm bringing you through my day of moving all my stuff to the new place. And I'll also be showing you at least four delicious vegan meals. Thank you for being on this journey with me. I love you so, so, so much. To start my day off, I had a big bowl of oats. It's 1.5 cups of raw oats. Well, yeah, raw oats last night. And then I just let them sit in coconut milk overnight so that they are refreshing and delicious and sweet in the morning. I also mixed it with lots of hemp seeds for healthy fats. And then topped with some chopped up strawberries. Also had some more fresh ones on the side. There is a scoop of vanilla biohealth protein mixed in literally the sweetest flavor ever. And then I topped it with more healthy fats. We've got flaxseed, chia seed, of course, cinnamon. Oatmeal is not oatmeal without cinnamon, guys. You know this. <laughs> I could literally drink cinnamon. That sounds really gross, but you get my point. If it's apples or if it's strawberries, it still has cinnamon. Same with banana. And I'm also having a fresh mango on the side. I just finished having like a big breakfast and then packed everything up, listened to a couple audiobooks. I finished my recovery certification course today. Here is my room all empty, basically the only space that was actually considered mine in my mother's house or her boyfriend's house. And we are ready to pack everything up. Here's most of my stuff, mainly just clothes and household items. And then I got to pack up the entire kitchen as well. <laughs> That's so funny. I've never seen my car with this much stuff in it. <laughs> in today's video, I'm bringing you through my day of moving all my stuff to the new place, which will be, I will be living on my own, but it's just my mom's old, or I guess like she's been renting out a place like five hours away from where I'm from. And she's never lived there yet, but she planned to live there eventually, but she's had the spot up there open for a while. And I don't know why I never thought of this until now, but yeah, that part's always open. So I get to go there now and I'm so totally okay with it. So I'm super excited for that. I think it'll be super great to have my own space and to be in a new location to kind of like anchor in the fact that I am a new person now and that I am like a lot more confident in what I'm doing with my career and I'm a lot more confident in who I am and just being able to film and not worry about like if my parents are around and really just taking a step to enjoy living on my own and then yeah like I have my car and whatever so I can do what I want and just have time to breathe and time to do my own things, not have to be, like it's okay if people are coming in and out of the house, like it's not a big deal and staying at home is like totally comfortable to me, but I know that anytime that I've ever- My phone died, but what I was saying was that the things that scare me have always brought the most rewarding things ever. Like anytime that we do what scares us, anytime that we face fears, we find freedom. So I just keep that in mind and it'll be fun. We've got everything packed now. Um, my car has never been this packed, <laughs> but let's go. After packing up all the kitchen stuff, I threw together all the leftovers that were in my fridge. So here we've got a delicious, delicious nourishing bowl. It is a couple cups of brown rice underneath an entire head of romaine lettuce. We've got a cup of edamame. We got some wasabi on top and a bunch of spicy pickled peppers. We got zucchini as well as mushrooms, avocado, I can't even remember everything that was in here. There are so many things. Cucumber, ginger that's pickled and sweetened, and then I made a sweet mustard maple dressing with a tablespoon of mustard and a tablespoon of maple syrup, 
as well as some tahini and a little bit of soy sauce. Whenever you add like the sweet and the salty components to dressings, it's gonna turn out so good. And then of course we added some different spices on top as well and some beautiful alfalfa sprouts. This meal is so high in protein, it's so satisfying, it's so delicious, and it has so much variety. Like, Who doesn't love having all those different flavors and actually feeling satisfied after a meal, not just physically, but mentally, because we actually get enough calories, not just volume. I just finished eating lunch and had a quick snack, and I'm gonna go over to my dad's now, stop halfway fill up on gas for the rest of the five hour drive and stop there and grab a couple things because I ordered some like supplements and stuff when I was last there. So get some stuff from there, say bye to my animals and have dinner and then go. But yeah, it's so nice that even like when I'm filming vlogs that I don't feel like I need to show that to you guys because there is so much more to life than just the food stuff. So yeah, today's a good example of that. And of course, I'm actually taking a, a rest day today as I literally have to like lug all of this stuff everywhere I go and unpack it and everything. And that's going to be a lot of arm work. So I'm not going to do any other damage. not going to spend any more time on that when I have lots of time to myself today already. Um, just being like able to listen to audiobooks and stuff. That's what I love doing when I am having that time for myself in the gym. Don't have any client calls today. So I... I'm already having like that restorative time, which is the biggest reason for my fitness personally. So yeah, I'm feeling great. And we'll definitely do a lot of videos about rest days, dealing with that, finding other things to cope on those days, finding other things that make you happy, and just being excited that you have more time on those days. So hope that's helpful in whatever way. We have reached my dad's house and I'll now get my stuff and make dinner and I've been listening to The Untethered Soul. Highly, highly recommend this book. I've been wanting to listen to it forever because I heard it recommended by Oprah and then Tony Robbins and then Dean and then um, Brendan Burchard and The Boss Babes and just so many people have recommended this book and I've been wanting to listen to it but I haven't until now and oh my goodness, I love it so much. Like, it speaks to the deepest part of your soul. It just feels super duper good. I'm able to like receive it so easily now. And I think it's just such a good time now that I'm finally in that receptive state to be receptive to love, to be receptive to healing versus resisting it for so long. So that's beautiful because I know I need to always be the most complete version of me in order to be giving parts of myself to others so that I can still be whole. And... Yeah, they were just talking, or what it was, the chapter is just talking about now. There's been millions of things that I've been writing about. It's so hard for me to not stop the car and, like, write everything down. But I did, like, a couple voice memos that I'll transcribe. I've been trying to do that lately to push my comfort zone with trying to express myself a bit more with words. Um, but it's a lot about being open to receiving excitement, joy, enthusiasm, all those emotions that all of us deep down are longing for and especially love so being open to that and just releasing anything that isn't that because it really is a choice we can all open our hearts we can open our minds we can open our souls we can open just be open just be open to those higher states that you want to feel because we are never attached to anything in the past we're always open to create a new future for ourselves and it really is up to you. No matter what happens throughout your life, you can always choose to give it a powerful meaning. No matter what's happening around you, you can choose to focus on what is going to make you feel your best and make others feel their best due to just being around you and the energy that you carry when you are open to these higher states of being. And I can't tell you how incredible it feels to just be myself and to be free and to release attachment to everything and to allow thoughts and emotions and experiences and anything that's happening each day allowing it to pass right through me not even feeling like I need to carry it 
anymore. Like just feeling a lot more present in each and every day. And don't worry if not, if not all of this resonates a lot with you right now because I've been deep into all of this for since I was like 12 years old. I've been super duper into anything to do with the yogic type of being, any type, any type of self-help as well. And it's not all going to happen in one night. I think even with recovery, things with recovery and with life like we get lots of different moments of clarity and they feel incredible at the time and we might have some lows that we learn from but then each day we'll find more and more of those moments of clarity and then over time you can connect those moments of clarity until you get a way bigger moment of clarity where you just realize that that higher state of being that you want to access you can and whether that means full recovery for you or fully stepping into the real you after recovery or fully stepping into the true essence of who you are when you become more awake. Whatever it is for you at this part of your journey, you're exactly where you need to be. You're exactly where you need to be on your soul's path and what you need to learn right now to express to the world the highest version of you that will help others to do the same and to be joyful, enthusiastic, and loving. I hope this resonates with some of you. <laughs> hey. hey, beautiful. Hi. Yeah? I'm just grabbing my stuff. We got my pillow, of course. <laughs> For dinner, we made a very quarantine looking style meal. It was super simple. I made my own type of chili sort of but really it's just pinto beans and a bunch of cooked tomatoes some sauteed spinach in soy sauce and then lots of everything bagel seasoning which adds garlic and sesame seeds and sea salt so some delicious flavor there i would love to have avocado on this toast but i didn't want to carry it for the move so unfortunately no avocado today but super satisfying nonetheless i absolutely love this squirrely bread Along with it, of course, I had my favorite protein tea. You guys see this all the time with the BioHealth protein. Again, this protein is so sweet and so delicious, and you can get it for a discount actually below. I literally love it so much, and I did it with a chocolate peppermint tea. So it was like a chocolatey vanilla latte sorta, and I just steep the tea and then add the creamy, delicious plant protein as a creamer to the tea, and it's like literally the best latte ever. I also add some stevia. You guys would literally be in love. I highly recommend this protein even if you just want it to make lattes. <laughs> Hello and good morning my peaches. I have slept as you can tell by my hair and just got up. I just plugged in my phone because it was dead since I slept with affirmations in. I'm just sitting on this couch. It's pretty nice. I'm going to show you around this little place today. First, I am making breakfast because I didn't make it the night before, which I usually do every morning, so that's weird. But we just ran to the car. We got the first bag of some groceries because I only brought in the freezer stuff last night that really, really needed to be in. I should have brought in the fridge stuff, but I put all the freezer stuff in the fridge because I can't find the cooler that my mom's talking about. <laughs> so... I'm gonna try to fit this stuff in the fridge as well until I can find the cooler. Gonna do 10 minutes of stretching, and then I'm gonna make my breakfast, and then I'm gonna show you guys around the house so that we can do a before and after because we are doing total makeover. Third trip up the shaggy old staircase is done. I got more groceries because I realized that I didn't even bring up the oats. So <laughs> that's how I put bananas in a cup so that they wouldn't mush. <laughs> But yeah, that staircase is creaky and long. I'm going to show you guys that as well. And I am not someone that does any cardio. And this is already three trips up the stairs. I'm going to be dead by the end of this because I have like 9 million freaking bags. And as soon as I woke up this morning, I smacked my head on this. <laughs> but it's okay. We've got an audiobook to listen. It's untethered soul. I'm not going to let this bother me. <laughs> like my fashion, <laughs> candy cane socks. I kind of feel like bloated this morning. I have like no abs at all, but it's just stress. We had to take a day off training, a couple days off training. <gasps> Got breakfast set up on this little tray because there isn't really any counter space. So 
here I've got just my supplements that I'm gonna take. So spirulina, some um, vegan aminos, B12, essential vitamin with omega-3s and vitamin D, um, as well as all my other ones are in here, like the multivitamins and stuff, so I don't have to open a ton of jars. And then I've got the beetroot, and I'm gonna do a scoop of protein inside of this bowl of oats, which is one and a half cups of rolled oats and one cup of water because these are raw oats. So it doesn't really need as much milk, I mean, sorry, that's almond milk, as you can tell. And then a full banana, 140 grams. Gonna mix it all together and show you guys the end result after I take my supplements. Banana chopped up on the banana peel so you don't get all their plates dirty. Also because I literally don't have a dishwasher and I'm washing things in the sink. <laughs> Definitely going to be weird since these didn't have much time to soak, but flavor will be good because of this chaya, chaya, ch <laughs> vanilla chai pudding, ch pudding, oh my goodness, I need to eat chai protein powder. Mix it all together, get a little bit thicker. This should be pretty yummy with some very ripe banana. I love bananas when they're all spotty. Oh, we've got it all mixed and thickened, which actually took some work because usually I just shake it in a cup <laughs> overnight, which is way easier. But it looks green and gross, but I promise. The vanilla chai, seriously, sweetest flavor ever. Usually add lots of stevia and date sugar and stuff, but I don't want to go to the car again, so <laughs> we will do that later. And there we go. We looking fancy. We looking delicious now. Definitely needs some tahini, but it's okay. We will do it for today. I'm also having some tea outside of this random cup that was left here for my mother. And it just has too much emotion for me in the morning. Like, I am too empathetic to see this freaking scary face. <laughs> I'm half kidding, but I also need some... I need my knowledge broker cup. I need my cat cup. <laughs> We have moved it to a table so I can pretend to be normal, but I'm getting on the couch. <laughs> I have so much space! <laughs> They force me to be present as well and not attached to things, but I really, really love just the fact that I know that I will have yoga wherever I go for the rest of my life. It's super comforting for me because it's something that makes me super happy, and I hope you guys know the things that make you super happy as well so you can carry them throughout your life wherever you go. grateful for this place and I can't wait to hook my computer up to have it as music all the time oh my goodness I know a lot of you follow me for like recovery type stuff and if you are I want to just emphasize the importance of self-care because an eating disorder is our way of coping or it could have been like restriction so when you can find those other ways to make yourself feel incredible you won't need those unhealthy behaviors anymore you'll have the healthy coping and you will be able to be free and that's what you deserve this is so weird but after breakfast my core comes back <laughs> carb up 
<laughs> Muscles need carbs. is trip four complete. So that's trip number five. I've just been taking like one thing at a time to make it easier, but I think I'm actually gonna go to the gym first so that when I come up the stairs, I can just bring some stuff. And so that it's still nice out for filming um, outside a little bit, outside the property, show you guys around that. And so that I can drive and find the gym in the daylight before it gets dark because I woke up late since I didn't get here until like one in the morning last night. And I got some more omega-3 because I ran out. And I've got, what even is this? Oh, vitamin D, vitamin K, and iodine, which is super great because you can't really get it in any foods other than iodized sea salt or other salts. And yeah, you need vitamin D because it's not usually sunny out, especially here. And then we've got just a woman's multivitamin. Always good just to make sure. actually got ready to go to the gym did my eyebrows filled in my little baby hole <laughs> braided my hair again I mean I didn't actually get ready I didn't put on any makeup on my face but I changed I got all excited and hyped about a new gym and I've already taken two rest days off but the gym is not open till Monday so two more days off I wish I knew this because I could have stayed at my dad's and I have a home gym. So that's unfortunate, but whatever. I will unpack my stuff. It's enough movement for the day. Do a little bit of yoga. And I think I have just one dumbbell and one kettlebell. So just like in isolation for months, I will make do with single little baby pieces of equipment for two days not gonna stress about it just gonna enjoy this time to reset everything happens for a reason and i will be excited on monday to get back to the gym and it looks like i'll be doing redoing my schedule for a couple days off on the weekends i guess whenever the gyms are closed here taking this as an opportunity every saturday and sunday i will film a home workout for you guys Keep me accountable. Might be a yoga video, quick core workout, or minimal equipment workouts. We have just finished a couple calls with clients, and now I will get back to packing. Number six, trip. Let's go. I'll be sharing workout videos every Saturday and Sunday, new home workout videos. That'll be a fun way to spend my Sundays and allow a little bit more recovery time and just to like allow that balance of switching things up because I actually did enjoy home workouts a little bit and experimenting with them so that'd be fun. Ooh, I like this background. I like seeing the wooden background. That's cute. Maybe we'll film somehow from this angle except that there's no natural light. I will settle into this place. I will make it work because I don't want to film in front of this couch. <laughs> Once I get all my stuff up the stairs I'm definitely gonna just like do what I can to clear as much stuff as possible and put it in like the junk room so that I can place my stuff in where I want it and to just like have as minimal stuff as possible is honestly my goal here and then I will get like more things from home when I can but yeah I'm just gonna make it like as minimalistic as possible I was walking out to get more stuff and this is what I see Just a freaking ghost in the corner. Look at it. Oh my goodness. That's what I see as soon as I walk out of the top part of the house. Trip number six, we've got done. That's number seven. And I just talked with the people that live underneath and the people that live in the cabin and the people that live 
above the people that are underneath because I'm at the very top. And they invited me to go and have hot dogs with them today. So I had to tell them about the vegan part, but got to say hi to their dog. And there's a trampoline outside and I'll probably go play a game of something outside with them to socialize a little bit tonight. It is break time and snack time. Most cardio I've done in a very long time. <laughs> and then I'm gonna make some lunch pretty soon after I organize some more things around the house. Trip number eight. Number nine. Here's trip number 10 and a half because I broke <laughs> the grocery bag down there. Number 11 and we just have one little weight to bring back up. So I will film the outside first. I love when it's nice out so much. I can't wait for when it's sunny consistently and I can go to all the pretty places here. There's lots of places with like waterfalls and things. And I can just sit there and work on my computer and be contributing and filming yoga videos for you guys and filming inspirational talks and all of the things that have been on my heart to share for so long. I am so excited. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But it's going to rain for the next couple of days. But right now it's beautiful outside and I don't know if I should keep like decorating the house because it's going to feel nicer when it's all done or if I should explore a little bit. We're still deciding, but I'm just eating some couple scoops of berry protein and a bunch of fruit and stuff. I don't know if you can see that because my phone's plugged in right now. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this, listen to the Untethered Soul audiobook, and then see what else. I might end up carrying this blog on to tomorrow so that I can go and get outside a little bit. I made tea in this pot because I didn't realize that we had a kettle, but I found the kettle and I've rinsed it, so I will make tea like a normal person tomorrow. But we've got some ginger tea to ease some digestive stress, and what does the quote say? I'm excited, I didn't know it had quotes on it. I can't read it, I still can't read it. He who wants a rose must respect the thorn. That's very relevant to what I'm just reading about accepting death because it makes us appreciate life. And literally, like, any meaning that we give to anything can be positive, so, yeah, I think I'm not gonna go off as a philosophical right now, it's too late for me. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a scoop of vanilla protein. So, we didn't quite finish unpacking everything, but that is for tomorrow's vlog that I'm sharing with you guys. The entire house tour with everything put away, and I'm so thankful that you came along my day with me. I love you so much. I hope that you get the free resources below to help you with your mindset and with your relationship with food. Sending you all my strength and I'll see you in the next video. I love you so much.